Hi everyone, welcome back to this video tutorial. Now we can consider the 8279 chip that is the keyboard and display controller. So 8279 is a programmable keyboard or display controller and is designed by the Intel that is used for interfacing keyboard and display unit with the CPU. So 8279 is used for interfacing keyboard and display unit with the CPU. So here uh, now we can consider various mode of keyboard this A279 operation regarding the keyboard operation. The keyboard can be interfaced with the CPU either in interrupt or polled mode. In the interrupt mode, the processor is requested service only if any key is pressed. Otherwise, the CPU will continue with its main task. So, in the interrupt mode of operation, CPU can continue with some main task and whenever a key is pressed, the processor, uh, the interfacing side, that is this 8279 interfacing unit generate an interrupt signal to the CPU whenever a key is pressed. Then only the processor want to consider this keyboard reading. Otherwise, the CPU can continue with the main task. But in polled mode, the CPU periodically reads an internal flag of 8279 to check whether any key is pressed or not. Okay. In interrupt mode, the processor can continue the main task and respond to a uh, key pressing operation only when an interrupt is received from the 8279 interfacing unit. But in polled mode, the CPU need to periodically check the status of the key and periodically check and identify whether a key is pressed or not. So these are the two mode of operation regarding this keyboard interfacing. The keyboard entries are debounced and stored in an 8-byte first in first out RAM that is further accessed by the CPU to read the key codes. If more than 8 keys are pressed before any FIFO read operation start, the overrun status is set. So, associating with this interfacing unit, the keyboard entries are decoded and stored into an 8-byte FIFO RAM. Okay, so in order to store the keyboard, the pressed keyboard entries, here we have an 8-byte RAM and this work based on first in first out manner. So, the pressed key entries are debounced and stored into this 8-byte FIFO RAM one after another so when uh, whenever more than eight keys are pressed before any uh, before read operation start by the cpu then it set an overrun status that means here in this ram we can store only eight byte of information one byte is needed for one key pressed okay so total eight bytes we can store here in a fifo ram at a, at a time as a maximum, we can store 8 bytes of information. So, if more than 8 bytes are pressed before starting any FIFO read operation, it set an overrun status. Once the CPU read a key entry, the FIFO is updated. The RAM is updated, that is, the key entry is pushed out of the FIFO to generate space for new entries. Okay, so whenever a key entry is read from this FIFO RAM by the CPU, the key entry is removed from the RAM in order to make space for new entries. The 8279 normally provides maximum of 16 7 segment display interface with the CPU. This is regarding the display interfacing. The 8279 provides a maximum of 16 7 segment display interface with the CPU. It contains a 16 byte display RAM that can be used either as an integrated block of 16 by 8 single unit or to 16 by 4 unit of RAM. Okay, so regarding this display unit, this 8279 support 7 segment display interfacing with the CPU. How many? 16 7 segment display interface with the CPU. Okay, and the 16 7 segment display can be interfaced using a single block of 16 by 8 RAM or a 2 16 by 4 RAM. Okay, 
so this is the architecture of this a to seven nine now we can consider this various unit as different group so this data buffer unit io control unit control and timing registers and timing and control unit all these are used for interfacing with the microprocessor or microcontroller with this 8279 and these particular control and timing registers and timing and control units are used for controlling the activities timing uh, for controlling the timing and other mode of operations okay and this particular part like FIFO sensor RAM status FIFO sensor RAM keyboard debounce and control unit and this return unit this four unit together form the keyboard interfacing part and display address register 16 by 8 display RAM and this display register. This three unit together form the display part. Now we have here a single scan counter and this is uh, used for scanning the matrix or uh, the scan counter is used for deciding which uh, key uh, which keyboard row is you uh, currently in usage okay that scan counter is used for fixing the keyboard matrix row now we can consider various unit in detail this data buffer unit actually uh, it can uh, store and transfer eight bit of information at a time and this unit is interfaced with this processor or control unit in order to transfer data to or from this a to seven a to seven nine okay so this data buffer unit is used for transferring data to or from with this a to seven nine and with the processor or control unit interfacing with this unit and this IO control unit and this uh, task of this unit is to control the activities based on the signals received from this interfacing controller or processor so this IO controller can command read operation write operation etc based on the signals receiving from this external interfacing processor or control the step selection is used for selecting this or activating this 8279 chip. Okay, so this A0 pin value is actually indicating whether data is transferred to this bus structure or command signals are transferred to this bus structure. If A0 equal to 0, this indicate data is transferring. And A0 equal to 1 indicate controls or command control commands are transferring okay next is about this control and timing registers and timing and control unit this timing and control unit is used for controlling the timing of operations and controlling various activities and here we have various set of registers associated with this timing and control unit for storing various uh, modes of operation information regarding the uh, modes of operations of this keyboard and display unit are stored here in this registers associated with this control and timing unit and other programming uh, programmed modes of operation of the programmed operations are also stored here in this register associated with this particular unit okay so next we have this uh, keyboard interfacing unit here we have this return unit and associated with it we have seven return input rl0 to rl7 okay this information this eight bit of information actually used for identifying the column of keyboard sensor matrix okay and here we have this shift and control uh, line as an input separately and this is used for indicating the status of shift and control a key of our keyboard and this keyboard and debounce unit is the main part of this keyboard this uh, keyboard interfacing part and this unit is used for identifying whether a key is pressed and whenever a key is pressed corresponding key Key code is debounced and stored into this 8 by 8 before RAM by this keyboard debounce and control unit. 
and also whenever an entry is present in this FIFO RAM a status information is updated here in this FIFO sensor RAM unit by this keyboard and debounce control unit okay whenever a key is pressed corresponding key code is debounced and stored in this RAM before sensor RAM by this debounce unit and also whenever a key entry is present in this RAM an updation is made here in this status unit of RAM whenever a status updation takes place this unit automatically generate an interrupt request to the CPU then the CPU identify a new key is pressed and its information is available in this FIFO RAM so that the CPU can start a FIFO reading operation. Okay, so this is about this uh, keyboard interfacing. Next, here we have the display interfacing. Here we have the three unit display address registers and a 16 by 8 display RAM unit and display registers. Here we have a uh, total 8 uh, output pins out A0 to A3 and out B0 to B3. This output pin we can classify it into uh, a single group of 8 output pins or a single uh, 12 or bit group of A and B. Okay, so using this we can interface this 8 to 7, 9 unit with 7 segment display unit okay here we have a display ram of capacity 16 that means it can store 16 characters of information at a time but in case of this uh, the uh, keyboard interfacing here we have a ram for supporting this keyboard interfacing but its capacity is only 8 byte at a time it can store maximum of 8 characters but here it can uh, support a 16 character display a maximum okay now this display address registers this display address registers are actually used for storing the address of the byte of this 16 by 8 display ram which is currently the cpu is dealing with okay so whenever the cpu is performing some read or write operation in this or, or from this 16 by 8 display RAM that particular byte address is stored in this display address register okay so associate with this timing and control unit we have this um, display black signal this is used for black out uh, this is this particular signal information is used for make our display black okay now we have our remaining scan counter unit this scan counter unit is associated with four bit output lines sl0 to sl3 this scan line information four bit of information uh, uh, information is used for identifying keyboard or sensor matrix rows this RL0 to RL7 used for identifying the column value of our sensor matrix and this 4 bit of scan output is used for identifying uh, 4 different rows of our sensor matrix. Okay, so this scan counter has two different modes of operation that is the encoded mode and the decoded mode. In the encoded mode, the counter provides the binary count that is to be externally decoded to provide the scan lines for the keyboard and display. Okay, actually this scan counter output line is used for fixing a particular row of our uh, sensor matrix and we can identify the uh, scan line or the sensor matrix row in two different modes that is uh, in encoded mode or in decoded mode. In the encoded mode of operation, the counter provides the binary count corresponding to the scan line that is uh, decoded externally and provide the scan lines for the keyboard and display. And in the decoded scan mode, the counter is internally decodes the least significant two bits and provide a decoded one out of four scan lines on SL4 to SL3. 
okay so in this can counter here it uh, use two different modes of operation encoded and decoded and in encoded mode the scan line can be uh, identified uh, based on an external decoding operation and the scan line binary address value is provided externally but in uh, decoded mode the scan line address is provided internally okay so in in um, internal decoding or in decoded mode of operation the internal decoding operation use the two least significant bit of information and identify four among oh, sorry one among four different scan lines now we have different modes of operation of 8279 Generally, we have two types of operation input or keyboard mode and output or display mode. So, in input mode, we can further classify this input or keyboard mode of operation into scanned keyboard mode, scanned sensor matrix and stropped input mode. Okay, in scanned keyboard mode, the key matrix can be interfaced using either encoded or decoded scan. Encoded scan means the scan line address is provided externally by decoding the scan line information and in decoded scan mode the scan line address is provided internally by decoding the least two bits of scan line information okay in the encoded scan mode an 8 by 8 keyboard or in the decoded scan a 4 by 8 keyboard can be interfaced encoded scan mode an 8 by 8 keyboard is interfaced and in decoded scan a 4 by 8 keyboard is interfaced the code of the key pressed with shift and control status is stored into the FIFO RAM that is this is the main function of the scanned keyboard mode of input operation that is whenever a key is pressed corresponding uh, key code debounced and is stored into the FIFO RAM along with the status of shift and control keys okay but in scanned sensor matrix in this mode a sensor array is associated with this mode of operation sensor array is uh, sensor array contains an entry corresponding to 64 different keys of our keyboard and each entry indicate the status of our different keys okay in the encoder scan the 8 by 8 sensor matrix or uh, with the decoder scan a 4 by 8 sensor matrix can be interfaced so in the scanned sensor matrix mode a matrix is interfaced with the 8 to 7 9 unit the matrix contains entry corresponding to each of the keys of our keyboard and also in case of display interfacing the dis, uh, the matrix associated with um, each of the entry corresponding to our display digit so based on the status of this entries of this matrix the processor can identify whether a key is pressed or not while performing a, a line by line scan operation through this sensor matrix but in the scanned keyboard mode what happened whenever a key is pressed then only the value or the debounced uh, code of the pressed key is stored into the FIFO run along with the status of shift and control keys but in scanned sensor matrix a matrix is always present here and the matrix entry indicate the status of various keys okay so stropped input the third type of input mode or keyboard mode is the stropped input mode and this mode when a control line is set to zero the data on the return line is stored into the FIFO byte by byte that means the control line the control key is set as 0 the data on the return line rl0 to rl7 based on the value of current status of our rl0 to rl7 the value stored into the FIFO RAM byte by byte based on the value of our control line 
if control line is zero then only the data is load from the return line to the fifo run this is stopped input mode of operation so the input mode or key mode mode of operation is subdivided into three types scanned keyboard mode and which when a key is pressed then the status of the uh, the key whenever a key is pressed the debounced key entry corresponding to the pressed key is loaded into the fifo run in the scanned sensor matrix a matrix is always associated with this interfacing unit the matrix contains an entry corresponding to each of the key of our keyboard whenever a key is pressed the corresponding entry of the sensor matrix get updated so while performing a sequential scanning over this sensor matrix the processor can identify whether a key is pressed or not in a stopped input mode whenever the control line equal to zero then the system interfacing unit automatically load the uh, data based on the return line status as loaded into our before ram the output mode the output mode can be subdivided into display scan and display entry mode this Display scan mode allow an 8 or 16 character multiplexed display to be organized as a dual 4 bit or a single 8 bit display unit. That means this display scan allow an interfacing of a um, dual 4 bit or a single 8 bit display unit, 7, dis 7 segment display unit with this 8 to 7 line okay this display entry mode this type of entry indicate uh, from which side we can enter data from right side or from left side right side entry is just like our calculator mode of operation and uh, we can enter data from right side and left side actually indicate typewriting mode of operation we can enter data from left side so these two are indicating the output mode of operation display scan and display entry this display entry actually uh, based on the entry of data okay the entry of data from which side and display scan indicate uh, which type of display unit we can interface with this unit we can interface a dual 4 bit uh, 7 segment display or a single 8 bit 7 segment display with our interfacing unit so all these are about the 8279 keyboard interfacing unit okay thank you